Good afternoon everybody, how are we doing? Today is the 2nd of November, Sunday the 2nd of November, while I'm recording this. I should have uploaded this video at 12 o'clock this morning, but anyway, better late than never. What I did this week is um, I downloaded a, a new program uh, called Asprite. Um, it's the first time I've ever made pixel art. Uh, and most of the people online recommended uh, to use Asprite. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but uh, yeah. I purchased it off uh, Steam, I think, for like 16 euros. But yeah, once I had it uh, up, up and running and downloaded, I opened up a 32 by 32 size project, which that's what was recommended as well uh, for like the tile size. And then I just uh, mess messed around a bit with it, uh, played around like, you know, getting used to all the, the controls and configurations of it. Uh, and obviously bef before attempting to draw something myself, uh, what I actually did is I... Um, went to, uh, to the online and uh, searched for some images to get some inspiration but yet I didn't really find that what I was actually looking for really and I sourced a few options that looked okay but what I actually ended up doing is going onto the Steam's official uh, uh, the Steam community uh, for Asprite where people upload their like creations uh, and after looking at this video I found I decided to do my the first pixel art I was going to draw uh, was going to be a block of grass. <laughs> I think uh, that should be easy, right? So um, obviously I took inspiration from this video here. Mine's going to be pretty much something very similar to that, as you will see in a second. Uh, I also had a look of all, some of these other creations that were quite, from the community. It looked quite awesome. Okay, and then after that, it was my turn to s attempt to draw my first pixel art. <laughs> it, uh, yeah, it looked like uh, it didn't look very, very good. Uh, but then I added some details to it, like some some grass details. And then I asked uh, ChatGPT what it thought, uh, and then it gave me some suggestions, which I totally forgot about. And that was the lighting. So I used some lighter pixels to um, give the grass a bit more illumination. Uh, basically, f I focused the sunlight from the like the light source coming from the le top left. So uh, so yeah, and that was my. This is my last. Uh, so this is the final result. Nice pixel art grass block <laughs> and after that I went back into unity and dragged and dropped it into my into my screen into my um, whatever you call it and um, yeah at, at first glance it looked pretty pretty decent actually and um, uh, but I couldn't get it to I wanted it to be in a, in a, in a line so that, that didn't really feel right so after doing some research on the Unity's documentation, you could actually use the blocks in like in each square. So that's what I did. I looked up in the options how to do it and you could basically set them as the tiles. Uh, so that's what I did. I deleted all the... I, de I deleted them all and uh, made the new floor out of my new textured... My new texture. Texture pack. George texture pack. And then I gave it rigid body. Uh, and box collider, not rigid body, sorry. I gave the floor um, a box collider, and as you can see, after giving the box collider to the floor, everything worked perfectly fine, which is good. So uh, anyway, once I finished my, finished creating and adding it to the scene, my first pixel art, uh, I jumped back into code to uh, try and uh, give the, give the enemy a, like, HP, so it would take damage. That was what I wanted to implement uh, this week, was for the enemy to take damage from each bullet and for the gun to actually fire the bullets towards the enemy. So that's kind of what I focused on uh, script-wise this week. Uh, there was a bunch of debugging I had to do, like there was like, many, quite a few hours I had to chew through. Uh, I learned a bit about, obviously, the, the vector as well, 2D and 3D, even though Unity has a 2D, like a 2D reference game, it's actually, it actually has a 3D background, like you, you, you can actually use the Z value, I think, to, you know, give it a 3D, even though it's in a 2D area. Um, yeah, that's, and that's something I learned this week anyway, uh, about that. 
But yeah, um, yeah, after doing a bunch of scripting, uh, I recorded some live, some live audio of myself actually getting some progress done, as you will see right now. Let's uh, cross our fingers. Hopefully, the gun will shoot at the character constantly, and, it, and we should get also a message in here with its HP, and it should get deleted when it die when it dies, unless it reaches to the house first. Let's let's see. I don't know if any of this will work, but let's try it out. Three, two, one. Uh, should we go into game mode? There we go. Why is the view changed? Oh well, whatever. Are we ready? Oh. Let's see what happens. Okay, okay. We've got we've got errors. Okay, what error is that? Object reference not set to an instance of an object. Bullet dot update. On line fourteen. So on line 14, follow the target, the enemy, so there's no enemy currently, it's saying. So I'm guessing this is constantly trying to get a new enemy, and maybe it only works once. Okay, I will see you guys in another hour. <laughs> Supposedly, it's all fixed now. But yeah, let's see. Will this work? Please work. Please work. Oh! Oh! Okay, no, it's not working again. Look. Oh, okay, we're, we're, we're getting there. <laughs> we're getting there. Okay, guys, I think I found the mistake. So, to start off, I don't know why I did this, but the position of my elements are not in the correct space. So, they're, like, far away from the actual position. So, when I play my game, the bullets do actually go to the position as you can see, my enemy position is wrong. It's supposed to be here. Uh, and that's because all these elements are wrongly set. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I put these values here, but let's correct that. And uh, that should solve it. Let's, uh, let's check. Yeah, I was wondering why every time I added a rigid body, or uh, sorry, a collider, it would add it up here. And I was like, why? But that's obviously that's the original position. So let's quickly set everything to zero, I guess. Let's set all that to zero. See, that's the original position. <laughs> oh, why did I do that? That's the original position. Uh, so let's put the eyes, I guess, zero as well. And then zero. Uh, oh, yeah, and the rigid body. The, uh, there we go. See, now I need to reset that. The rigid body, is it? No, sorry, the collider. So let's put that zero and zero. Aha, perfect. Now this should work if I move, if I now move it back down there. I don't know, I, I don't know why I set the values to those values, but whatever. The game should now work, guys. It should work. Let's see. Oh yeah, the bullets disappear. Oh, okay, okay, we've got a new problem. Okay, <laughs> okay, we've got a new problem. It's working. The object of the time Unity game object has been destroyed, but you are still trying to access it. Okay, well that will be that will be tomorrow's problem, because I'm happy. I'm happy with this current result of the bullets going towards the character, hitting the character, and deleting. See, they disappear from here like bullet clone. And that bully clone disappears. I should, yeah. So I don't know why I'm getting it. I'm getting after the third one. I think it's what it's trying to do. It's trying to you get the up, use this update. Uh, it's trying to uh, with the bullet. It's trying to get the the update. Maybe because it's on fixed update. I don't know. But um, but yeah. Anyway, that was uh, the end of today's video. This week's video, I should say. Hope you all enjoyed it. I will try and upload consistently every Sunday. That's my objective. I probably have some type of, like, I get very distracted uh, a lot of the time. So I'm trying to, I'm uh, giving myself some excuses here, but 
I'm gonna try and, you know, at least do an hour each every day, because last week I only did Monday and Tuesday. Really, I should have done Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I, should, I, I need to do at least an hour every day, and then obviously prepare the video not on the last day. But yeah, I'll try. I'll try and focus, and uh, hopefully I'll have more updates next week. So yeah, hope you all have a, a nice week, and I'll see you in the next video.